Doctor, when we have an allergic reaction to something like a, a pollen or ragweed, what's going on in our body? Can you describe that, why, why we're getting that? Okay, so that's a, uh, a good question. And I have this analogy, or analogy that I do with people. Uh, in our bodies, we have white blood cells. And the big eaters, we call them uh, macrophage or monocytes and dendritic cells. When they see pollen, so normally to get allergies, you have to have a genetic uh, makeup for it. Mm -hmm. So when you have a genetic makeup and you are in the right environment, when you get exposed to the allergens, these macrophage or monocytes or dendritic cells see that as dangerous. So they pick up the allergens and they show that to another cell. Him, I call him the Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, because that guy, he can go into two directions. When he sees bacterial viruses, he goes in one direction and then signals to the bomb-making guy who makes smart bombs and if it's bacterial viruses, kills them off. But if it's allergies, then the allergens are picked up and he converts into another form. And that also signals to the bomb-making guy who makes a specific bomb called IgE against the allergens. Okay. And that IgE bomb doesn't just explode on its own. It has to find the docking sites. And the docking sites are on two other cells. So when it attaches to those uh, allergy cells, they're waiting, they're dangerous. Now they have a bomb on their surface, they're going to explode. Mm -hmm. So the next time you go out, you breathe a pollen or dust or mold, it goes through the nose but doesn't stop there. Continue through the bloodstream and it finds its way to attach to the bombs. A cross-linking occurs and then boom, explosion, and these cells release the internal contents that cause trouble for us. Mm -hmm. The number one content they release is histamine. Mm -hmm. And that's why you get the itchy eyes, itchy nose, itchy throat, the sneeze in the runny nose. And that's why we do antihistamines to block those. Sure. Now, um, if a histamine is the only thing that were released, it would be easier to treat because you take an antihistamine, mm -hmm. it would be okay. But these cells, there are tons of other mediators that they release. And one of them is the leukotrienes, and the leukotrienes are blocked with Singulair, for instance. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's to treat allergies, you cannot just do antihistamines. Sometimes it works by itself, mm -hmm. but doing antihistamines and leukotriene receptor antagonists, that helps better to control it. And the master block of all these chemicals is steroids. Mm -hmm. And that's why we do the nasocortical steroids, or if your allergies are bad, or people who have asthma, they tend to get like prednisone mm -hmm. to try to control the whole symptoms. Mm -hmm.